Sunburn is red, hot and sore skin caused by too much sun. It may flake and peel after a few days. You can treat it yourself. It usually gets better within 7 days. Sun safety tips. Spend time in the shade when the sun is strongest. In the UK, this is between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. from March to October. Make sure you spend time in the shade between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Make sure you never burn. Cover up with suitable clothing and sunglasses. Take extra care with children. Use at least factor 30 sunscreen. What factor sunscreen SPF should I use? Do not rely on sunscreen alone to protect yourself from the sun. Wear suitable clothing and spend time in the shade when the sun's at its hottest. When buying sunscreen, the label should have a sun protection factor SPF of at least 30 to protect against UVB. At least 4 star UVA protection. UVA protection can also be indicated by the letters UVA in a circle, which indicates that it meets the EU standard. Make sure the sunscreen is not past its expiry date. Most sunscreens have a shelf life of 2 to 3 years. Do not spend any longer in the sun than you would without sunscreen. What are the SPF and star rating? The sun protection factor, or SPF, is a measure of the amount of ultraviolet B radiation UVB, protection. SPFs are rated on a scale of 2 to 50 plus based on the level of protection they offer, with 50 plus offering the strongest form of UVB protection. The star rating measures the amount of ultraviolet irradiation UVA, protection. You should see a star rating of up to 5 stars on UK sunscreens. The higher the star rating, the better. The letters UVA inside a circle is a European marking. This means the UVA protection is at least a third of the SPF value and meets EU recommendations. Sunscreens that offer both UVA and UVB protection are sometimes called broad spectrum. How to apply sunscreen. Most people do not apply enough sunscreen. As a guide, adults should aim to apply around 2 teaspoons of sunscreen if you're just covering your head, arms and neck. 2 tablespoons if you're covering your entire body while wearing a swimming costume. If sunscreen is applied too thinly, the amount of protection it gives is reduced. If you're worried you might not be applying enough SPF 30, you could use a sunscreen with a higher SPF. If you plan to be out in the sun long enough to risk burning, sunscreen needs to be applied twice. 30 minutes before going out. Just before going out sunscreen should be applied to all exposed skin, including the face, neck and ears, and head if you have thinning or no hair, but a wide-brimmed hat is better. Sunscreen needs to be reapplied liberally and frequently, and according to the manufacturer's instructions. This includes applying it straight after you have been in water, even if it's water-resistant, and after towel drying, sweating or when it may have rubbed off. It's also recommended to reapply sunscreen every two hours, as the sun can dry it off your skin. Swimming and sunscreen. Water washes sunscreen off, and the cooling effect of the water can make you think you're not getting burned. Water also reflects ultraviolet UV rays, increasing your exposure. Use water-resistant sunscreen if it's likely you'll sweat or have contact with water. Sunscreen should be reapplied straight after you have been in water, even if it's water-resistant, and after towel drying, sweating or when it may have rubbed off. Children and sun protection. Take extra care to protect babies and children. Their skin is much more sensitive than adult skin, and damage caused by repeated exposure to sunlight could lead to skin cancer developing in later life. Children aged under 6 months should be kept out of direct strong sunlight. From March to October in the UK, children should cover up with suitable clothing. Spend time in the shade, particularly from 11am to 3pm. Wear at least SPF 30 sunscreen. Apply sunscreen to areas not protected by clothing, such as the face, ears, feet and backs of hands. To ensure they get enough vitamin D, all children under 5 are advised to take vitamin D supplements. Protect your eyes in the sun. A day at the beach without proper eye protection can cause a temporary but painful burn to the surface of the eye, similar to sunburn. Reflected sunlight from snow, sand, concrete and water, and artificial light from sunbeds, is particularly dangerous. Avoid looking directly at the sun, as this can cause permanent eye damage. Clothing and sunglasses. Wear clothes and sunglasses that provide sun protection, such as a wide-brimmed hat that shades the face, neck and ears. A long-sleeved top. 
Trousers or long skirts in close weave fabrics that do not allow sunlight through. Sunglasses with wraparound lenses or wide arms with the CE mark and British Standard Mark 12312-1-2013E. How to deal with sunburn. Sponge sore skin with cool water, then apply soothing after sun cream or spray, like aloe vera. Painkillers, such as paracetamol or ibuprofen, will ease the pain by helping to reduce inflammation caused by sunburn. Stay out of the sun until all signs of redness have gone. Find out more about treating sunburn. Seek medical help if you feel unwell or the skin swells badly or blisters. Stay out of the sun until all signs of redness have gone. Get tips on preventing and treating heat exhaustion in hot weather. Who should take extra care in the sun? You should take extra care in the sun if you have pale, white or light brown skin. Have freckles or red or fair hair. Tend to burn rather than tan. Have many moles. Have skin problems relating to a medical condition. Are only exposed to intense sun occasionally, for example, while on holiday. Are in a hot country where the sun is particularly intense. Have a family history of skin cancer. People who spend a lot of time in the sun, whether it's for work or play, are at increased risk of skin cancer if they do not take the right precautions. People with naturally brown or black skin are less likely to get skin cancer, as darker skin has some protection against UV rays. But skin cancer can still occur. The Cancer Research UK website has a tool where you can find out your skin type to see when you might be at risk of burning. Protect your moles. If you have lots of moles or freckles, your risk of getting skin cancer is higher than average, so take extra care. Avoid getting caught out by sunburn. Use shade, clothing and a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 to protect yourself. Keep an eye out for changes to your skin. Changes to check for include A new mole, growth or lump Any moles, freckles or patches of skin that change in size, shape or color Report these to your doctor as soon as possible Skin cancer is much easier to treat if it's found early